Today's YouTube video is going to be about how black men um, texturize their hair and how to try and get your hair from kind of like really, really tight curls to loose curls. Um, so that's going to be my YouTube video today. I've been growing my hair right now for roughly around six, seven months. Every single time I went to the barber, I'd get like a little high top and get him to level it and obviously put a little bit of waves in there, level it, waves, level it, waves, until it's kind of come to this length, so yeah. One thing to remember guys, try and leave it at least six weeks in between retexturizing it. Whenever you get your hair reshaped up, just get them to snip the ends and just kind of like tidy up. Cause you know, even brothers get loose ends or split ends, whatever you want to call it. So the texturizer that I'm going to be using today is called Lusters. Lusters S Curl Texturizer Wave and Curl Cream. Extra strength. Extra. Yeah, one day I was just in the in the black hair shop. I don't know how you guys call it, but that's called a black people's hair shop. And I was like, mmm, I need to texturize my hair once it gets really, really long. So I just picked up this brand and you know most people like most people of, of, an, of an ethnic origin know about lusters and I was just like, oh this looks like black people's product, so buy it. In order to apply this, when I went to the black man shop, I literally picked up one of these brushes. It's got like a, a tooth at the end, and what I could do is I could, if I wanted to, I could part it, then I could switch it around, and then I can apply. I've seen many people on YouTube use putting the gloves on and then massaging it into their hair and all that BS. Like, I'm not saying that don't work. I'm just saying, I ain't gonna be doing that. What a lot of people tend to do is they tend to comb it out, but then your curls can become straight. Um, and I don't want my hair to be straight, 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 because I ain't into that. I want, my, I want to look like I've got like curly, luscious ax. What I've picked up on YouTube is that a lot of people use this and then they put it around their edges so that the actual texturizer will not burn your edges of your hair. And especially that I had a haircut yesterday, um, I might actually try applying it because I don't want to be getting like no, no scabbiness all around the edge of my hair or whatever, you know? So I'm going to try that today. The main thing for me is I'm just doing all this from memory, from what I used to kind of see my mum when she used to look bum, when she used to look like Tony Braxton and it was like, you know, I was like, mm, go mum, okay, okay, I see you, I see you with your nice, nice hair. What else I bought today is um, Lustre's S Curl. Um, this is like a gel activator. Why I use this is because if the hair tends to go really straight after texturizing it, then I can pop this in and it will reactivate the curls in my actual hair and just get my waves back going on. So yeah, guys, I forgot one thing. You have to make sure you've got shampoo and conditioner because you're gonna need to wash that out of your hair. Let me make sure that I've got better. I've only got a little bit left. So you know them ones when you have to like put it on the front so it like it drains to the, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do now. But once you texturize, you may notice that your hair gets very dry very easily. My mom, she mentioned to me that I should be putting in the moisturizer in my hair every day to kind of keep it moisturized, like the scalp moisturized, the hair moisturized, and obviously keep that growth um, coming through so you can, you know, <laughs> do your thing, you know? Um, even though I haven't texturized my hair in about seven weeks, there is some days where I just love wearing my hair like on a high afro because it's all about being natural um, for me. I know that I'm texturizing my hair now, but sometimes I like to let my hair breathe um, and I just want to be like, you know what, it's my hair, I'm rocking it, it's my style and I'm doing it. If you've got your little edgy like look that's going on, you want to rock out to like a little festival, you don't want to be looking like every other Tom, Dick and Harry and you just rock your hair high because you know what? Some people wish that they could have hair like this. Right then guys, so I am about to start applying this. I don't want to be getting no texturizer all over my clothes, so I'm just going to do like this. Actually, I should have a towel ready for when I need to wash out my hair. So yeah, so you know, um, 
Yeah, so I'm gonna get a little towel ready for when I'm gonna wash out my hair because I don't want my little cheap chain to get even cheaper than it looks. So yeah, anyway, let's apply, just slap it all in. Um, wait for it to kind of itch or feel like a little sensation in my hair um, and near my scalp if I start to feel that and then I'm gonna wash it out because I don't want my, I don't wanna look like too over texturized, you know? So yeah, anyway, um, let's get to it. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Boom, Hey. I'm going to use this pink moisturizer and I'm going to try and put it around my edges. <laughs> Um, and I'm just now going to try and work it through my hair. I haven't really got no method, you know. I am just using my common sense. You know, black people used to texturise their hair all the time because we believe that like straighter hair was better. I want like this different style, but I'm not doing it because of society or anything like that. A bit of Martin Luther King though. No. Is it Martin Luther King or Malcolm X? Anyway. I can feel it. I've got to call my mum guys. Answer the phone. I'm going to have to just freestyle it. Oh, no, she's answered. Mom? Yeah? Um, I need to ask you a question. Oh, yeah, I've done a chat, chat stop. Mom, I'm on YouTube, and I'm YouTubing me doing my hair, texturising my hair. No, I If it's starting to a little tingles around my scalp, should I be washing it out? Yeah, but you know what? You shouldn't be scratching your head before. How long have you had it on? 10, 15 minutes? You've been scratching your scalp. Oh, Mom, don't say that. Alright, we're exactly perm properly. I am back. Here's my hair. Straight out of the shower. It was really, really thick before. Now my hair's gone actually quite straight. What I need to do is make sure that I reactivate my curls in my hair. And what I done was I washed it all out with a shampoo, conditioner. I washed it out about three times just to make sure it was gone. Towel dried my hair, then popped in this pink moisturizer just to make sure that my scalp's getting those nutrients back into it. I'm gonna pop in some of this gel activator. I'm just gonna go roll with my hair. Let's activate those curls. Let's keep massaging it in. Slowly, slowly, the tips of my hair is starting to curl up. So the activator is starting to work. So this is it with uh, everything. That's my hair. Ready to rock and roll. Easy. A bit. I need to style it more, but y'all get the truth. So that's come from transformation of womb to this. So yeah, that's it. Thanks guys. Have a good one. Nice.